You can do just about anything with the Raspberry Pi, including turning it into your very own personal web server that you can access across your local network. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and here we show you how to do it. Do you want to create your own website but don't need large-scale server-side processing? Wouldn't it be easier if you could create, host and maintain a website directly on your Raspberry Pi? Here we'll show you how to turn a Raspberry Pi into your own personal web server. By the end of this tutorial, you will have learned how to install the popular Apache web server on your Raspberry Pi, set up PHP and create a simple web page that anyone can access over your local network. What is Apache web server? Apache is one of the most popular web server applications in the world, accounting for almost 40% of all web servers at the time of writing. Once you've set up Apache on your Raspberry Pi, you can use it to serve various files to anyone on the local network. What you'll need. To complete this tutorial, you'll need obviously a Raspberry Pi running Raspbian. If you don't already have Raspbian, you can grab the latest version on their website, link in the description, and flash it using Etcher, also link in the description. Power cable that's compatible with your Raspberry Pi, external keyboard and a way to attach it to your Raspberry Pi, HDMI or micro HDMI cable, depending on the model of your Raspberry Pi, external monitor and ethernet cable or Wi-Fi connection. Update your Raspbian. If you haven't already, attach your external keyboard monitor and any other peripherals to your Raspberry Pi and attach it to a power source. Before we start, it's best to make sure that the Raspbian you're running is the latest version. Launch a terminal window by clicking the little terminal icon in the toolbar. Type the following commands into the terminal. sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get upgrade. If Raspbian does install one or more updates, reboot your Raspberry Pi by running the following command, reboot. Once your Raspberry Pi reboots, it'll be running the latest version of Raspbian. Install the Apache web server. Now you're ready to install the Apache 2 package on your Raspberry Pi. In the terminal, type the following command, sudo apt install apache2 minus y. And that's it. Your Raspberry Pi is now functioning as a basic web server. To see your Apache web server in action, you will need to enter your Raspberry Pi's IP address into the web browser. To retrieve this IP address, run the following command in the terminal window. Hostname minus I, capital I that is. This will return your Raspberry Pi's IP address. Then simply enter this address into any web browser. You should see the following page. Congratulations, you've just created your own web server. Get permission, editing Apache's HTML file. The It Works web page is actually an HTML file that's located in your Raspberry Pi's slash var slash www slash HTML folder. To take a look at this file, open the Raspbian's File Manager app by clicking on the file icon in the toolbar and then navigate to var www HTML. This folder contains an index.html file, which is the page you're seeing in your web browser. In the following sections, you'll make some simple changes to this file and then create an additional HTML file that Apache will serve to anyone on your local network. In a terminal window, change the directory or CD so that it's pointing at the index.html file. CD slash var slash www slash HTML. Now run the following commands. ls minus al. The terminal will now display some text explaining that the index.html file is owned by the root user. Before you can edit this file, you'll need to assume ownership. You can change ownership by using a terminal command. The following example assumes that you're using Raspbian's pi username. If you manually changed it, make sure this is reflected in your terminal commands. sudo chone pi colon index.html. If you rerun the ls-al command, you should see that Pi now has permission to edit this file. HTML, customize Apache's web page. You can now open the It Works page for editing by running the following terminal command, nano index.html. Of course, this launches the index.html file in Raspbian's nano text editor. You can change any part of the page's code, but to keep things simple, we'll just change the text that displayed a part of the heading. Navigate to the appropriate line and change it to this is a test. Once you've made the changes, save the file by pressing Ctrl O followed by Ctrl X. 
Now load your Raspberry Pi's IP address into your web browser again and you should see the changes. Make your website dynamic, installing PHP 7. By default the Apache web server is limited to static content, so your pages won't react to any information that's provided by users. If you want to make your content dynamic, you'll have to install the latest version of PHP, which was PHP 7.4 at the time of writing. In this section, you'll install the latest version of PHP and the PHP module for Apache. sudo apt install php lib apache2 minus mod minus php minus y. To test that PHP is set up correctly, Let's create a PHP file in the slash var slash www slash html slash directory and then check that this file appears in our web browser. To create a PHP file called mywebpage.php, run the following command in the terminal window. sudo nano slash var slash www slash html slash mywebpage.php the mywebpage.php file opens automatically in nano and in the nano text editor you can type in the following PHP script. The script will be included in the description so that you can cut and paste it. This simple script retrieves today's date and displays it as part of a web page. To save your script, press Ctrl O, followed by Enter, followed by Ctrl X. Test your dynamic PHP. To test that this PHP file is being served correctly, enter your Raspberry Pi's IP address in your browser one more time, followed by slash mywebpage.php. If the PHP file is being served correctly, then your browser should display something like this. Today is 2020 and the rest of the day and time. As you can see, it's easy to turn your Raspberry Pi into a web server, although you will need to set up a dynamic IP to be able to connect to your web server from a public network. We have instructions to do this, link in the description. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now, see you next time.